Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has started his Manchester United career emphatically, with the vast majority of his games in charge resulting in wins and overseeing a significant shift in the mentality and approach away from that favoured by his predecessor, Jose Mourinho. The changes instituted appear not to have only energised the side, but also brought the best out of marquee players like Paul Pogba and Marcus Rashford. Solskjaer has been tactically flexible, using a variety of systems. He's shown a slight preference for an attacking 4-3-3, with one midfielder sitting slightly deeper, but has also used the 4-2-3-1 and a sort of midfield diamond setup. While recent games have also featured a lopsided 4-4-2, with a deep central midfielder and one midfielder tucking in to play higher and in the channel. He's also instigated more of a pressing game at United than his predecessor, and has encouraged his players to defend with a higher line. This means that the front three or lone striker are less isolated, as the side is more horizontally compact. And this compactness is crucial, as it makes United harder to break down, but it also allows them to transition from the defensive phase to the attacking phase more easily. In addition to this, the centre-backs, especially Viktor Lindelof, are given licence to carry the ball up through the first line of an opposition press. This is often aided by one of the two deeper midfielders dropping off to provide a passing option. And this allows United to generate forward momentum in the space between the first and second defensive lines of opposition. There's also a greater degree of horizontal movement ahead with players like Jesse Lingard, Marcus Rashford or Anthony Martial dropping off to find space and creating play between the opposition lines. This in turn creates opportunities for quick, dynamic interchanges of pass and move football between a highly technical, intelligent and quick front line, assisted by Pogba pushing forwards from his left-sided 8-10 hybrid role. The fullbacks generally push quite high to provide width, although it's been noticeable in the games where a 4-4-2 is used that they are more defensively minded. Nonetheless, Solskjaer seems to have recognised that with Luke Shaw pushing up, Pogba roaming in the left half space and the combination play possible between players like Martial and Rashford, this represents United's best way of taking a game to opponents and creating threatening chances. Paul Pogba has been perhaps the greatest beneficiary of Solskjaer's emphasis on possession, movement and quick dynamic interchanges. Spared many of the defensive duties that shackled him under Mourinho, Pogba is now free to find space, direct play and surge into the box to provide a goal threat. And of course some of the credit for this must also go to both the midfield double pivot, usually Nemanja Matic and Ander Herrera, who compensate for Pogba's attacking emphasis, and Jesse Lingard, who's often seen dropping into the space pressing astutely to protect United's right-hand side higher up, which in turn allows Matic and Herrera to cover slightly more across behind Pogba on the left. And Pogba's return to form and the threat posed on United's left-hand side also opens up opportunities for the switch of play that many sides now use stack on one side, drag the opposition over and then quickly attack the opposite flank. With Lingard often stationed on the right, this is especially effective for United, as he is so astute at exploiting space. Ashley Young and Diogo Dallo provide aggressive support from right back too, which further enables United to attack the space on the right, created by stacking up on the left. And Solskjaer has also shown some creative thinking when it comes to specific opposition. Against Spurs, whose fullbacks push very high, Solskjaer did not push his own fullbacks up to counter them, but rather invited them on. This meant that when United had the chance to counter, their wide players were often in a lot of space and one-on-one -on -one with Tottenham's centre-backs because Spurs' fullbacks had been allowed to advance so high in support of the attack. Against Arsenal in the FA Cup, Solskjaer borrowed from Roberto Martinez's use of Romelu Lukaku during Belgium's World Cup campaign, playing him wide right with Lingard as a false nine. This encouraged Lukaku to attack the space behind Arsenal's left-back, and he finished the game with two assists, the second of which was for Jesse Lingard, and it perfectly highlighted why the change worked. And in perhaps his most famous victory so far, with Solskjaer's hand forced by injuries, he played a lopsided 4-4-2 against PSG. This saw Eric Bailly standing in at right-back, with Ashley Young essentially doubling up to cover him, while Andreas Pereira pushed up from the left to play as a number 10. United consistently went long and generally played through the middle rather than looking to exploit the wide areas where PSG's formation meant they were dominant anyway. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has brought variety, imagination and enthusiasm to the United bench. None of his tactical shifts have been seismic or complex, but they have been astute and have succeeded in getting the best from key players, especially Paul Pogba. So, people often ask us how we make our videos. Well, the easiest way to learn everything you'd need to know to make a video like Tifo is to use Skillshare. 
Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in design, business, technology, and more. I've selected four classes here, which I think would all be useful in the making of a TIFO video. Probably the most obvious is how to make an animated YouTube video, which is taught by Evan from the YouTube channel Polymatter, which is a really great one, by the way. Here's an episode on animating, which is one of the final episodes in the 10 episode series. Here's a class in learning Illustrator, which is one of the pieces of software we use to create our own illustrations. And it's not just about design stuff that goes into TIFO videos either. It's also about strong writing. In this series called The Writer's Toolkit, Six Steps to Finding a Successful Writing Habit, I found really interesting as I watched through it. The nicest animation in the world won't make a good video unless you have something to say and you say it well. And finally, there's a bit of personal interest here too, but also useful for understanding the finances of football, Investing 101, Understanding the Stock Market, which is crucial information and a gateway to understanding finance generally. An annual subscription is less than $10 a month, but you can get two months for free by clicking the link in the description of this video. Sign up and you'll be making TIFO quality videos in no time.